So today I have an amazing image gallery card effect that I have to show you guys. Let me just refresh this right over here. So you see it's got this whole entrance animation. And if you look very carefully, you see it doesn't get triggered just kind of in the area. It'll only get triggered when you're actually hovering on the card. If we go and hover on one of these, you can see that this one stays in color and the rest all fade to black and white. If we scroll along, you can see that each one pops up as you're hovering over it. And you also see this message that says click to view. If we go and click one of these images, you can see it moves up in this whole nice animation and you have the heading and subheading but you can put anything you want really. As well as we have this close button over here, this is all gonna be part of the tutorial. And if you click outside the image, it closes in a nice animation as well. Pretty easy to do, it was a lot of code, but for you, you just have to copy and paste. If you are in a hurry and you want to download the complete template, in the description of this video, there's gonna be a link that'll take you to this page where you can download the complete templates, and I'll take you to the exact template of the tutorial. Once you've downloaded the complete template zip file, you can open it up and inside you'll have the actual template of the tutorial as well as this PDF that'll show you how to install it. But I'm gonna show you that now just real quick. So what you need to do is just extract this template and then in the back end of your WordPress website, you'd go into pages, you'd say add new page. Here we just create that page, so we just click publish and then we say edit with Elementor. Here in the Elementor page builder, if you don't have the library pop up up here, it's going to be this icon over here that says add templates, we click that and here's that library window. In this window, we'd click on this import template and you'd be presented with the screen. Now that file that you just extracted from the zip file that you downloaded from my website, you just click and drag that into place and it's going to import that template. You are going to be presented with this JSON files warning. This is standard for all templates that you import. So you just click on continue and your template will now be in my templates. Then the last thing that you have to do is just say insert the template. So enough talking. Let me show you how to build this. So here in the Elementor page builder, we're going to start this off making sure that we have the navigation window right over here. If it's not open, it's this button over here that you can click and it will come and pop up. We are going to be referring to this window quite a bit in this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is the main container that's going to house this whole thing. So we're going to click on this plus sign, flex box, and this container right over here. For the settings of this container, we're going to leave it as box. The width we can set to percentage and we can say 100%. And then the min height, we're going to change this to VH and we're going to say 100. For the direction, we're going to keep it the same. And the justify content, we're going to say center. The gaps, we can just set this to zero. And then under additional options, the overflow, we're going to say hidden. Then we can stylize this background now. So we're going to head over to style. And then the background, I think I'm going to go with a gradient. So I'm going to click this gradient, make sure that the top is radial. And then let me choose these colors over here. It really doesn't matter this. This is just complete preference. And then we put the, the second color as black. Actually make this blue a little bit darker. That should be fun. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go over to advanced. And what we're looking right over here is we're gonna give a custom CSS class name. But before I carry on, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's gonna take you to the reference page on my website for this tutorial. And let's just go have a look at that real quick. Over here, there's that page. And here, the first section over here is gonna be all the different names that we're gonna be using for the CSS class names. And then underneath is just the code that we're gonna copy paste. So what we're going to need for this section is we're going to take this very first name over here of reboot card effect section. We're going to copy that over. And then here in the editor, we can just paste that into the CSS classes for this container. Once we've done that, we're going to rename this container. We're going to double click that and I'm going to call this the section for the cards. What we're going to be putting into this container is going to be a heading, a button, an icon, an HTML widget, and a container. And the whole thing of that is here in the example, we're going to be making this right over here. And as well as this little click to view button, that's going to be over here as well. And if I click on this model, you can see that's going to be the icon we're going to be using. So that's all going to come in here now. So the first thing we're going to do is click on this plus sign. We're going to look for the HTML widget. We're going to click and drag that across and let go. Now we are going to come back to this when we're going to put in the code, but we don't have to do it right now. The next thing we're going to add is that heading. You can put it underneath and we're going to click on the plus sign again. We'll go get that button, put that underneath. And then we're going to look for the icon, click and drag this 
and we put that underneath that as well. Now for the settings of this heading, I'm going to change this text to featured models. I am going to be putting this into the center. I'm going to make this white. And for the typography, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it like this. Maybe put it down to a 400 and put the size to about an 85. Then transform, I think I'm just going to put this uppercase. Again, this is just my design. You can make it however you want. Something that I want to do is if I go back into content, I'm just going to make sure that this is an H1. This is because it's really good practice. And then under advanced, over here, we're gonna change a little bit of the settings here. So I'm gonna unlink this. And for the bottom, I'm gonna give a padding of 80. Now we have to give this a CSS class name as well. In my reference page, the second one over here, this is what we're gonna copy, which is the reboot card effect heading. I'm gonna copy that, go back into the editor and paste this there. Now, while we're on this heading, what I'm gonna do is here under margin, this desktop icon, I'm gonna click that and go into mobile. And I'm just gonna change the spacing and the sizing on this here so i'm going to unlink this and i'm going to give this a bottom margin of 40. then i'm going to head over to style and just make this smaller so that it actually fits nicely into the the mobile window once we're done with that i can go back into desktop mode and we can go and stylize the button now for the text of this button i'm going to say click to view so i don't need to put anything else over here but I am going to go over to style and I'm going to change a couple of things over here. So for the text color, I am going to set this to black. And for the actual color, I'm going to set that to white. So what that's going to be is that's going to be this click to view button you can see on the mouse. That's what you're busy styling and that's how it's going to look like. And while we're here, I think I want to make it a little bit transparent in the background. So I'm going to take it down to a roughly 75%. If you don't know where that is, you can click on this RGBA and you can see it's roughly there at 75. It doesn't have to be exact. Then for the border radius, I'm going to put this to 100. And for the padding, I'm going to put 10. Now, it doesn't matter that it looks like this. The custom code that we're going to put into this is going to fix the whole look of that. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go over to advanced. The width, we're going to say custom. And we want this to be PX of 90. If we scroll down a little bit more, you're going to find the position. We are going to change this to absolute and we don't have to worry about these offsets over here but we do need to go and get the class name so if we go to the reference page it's going to be this very next one this reboot card effect info we copy that and we paste that right into here one of the last things we have to do for this is if we go down to responsive we can hide this on mobile because obviously there's no mouse in mobile okay now we're going to head over and concentrate on this icon so if we click on that it's going to bring up the settings I'm gonna go and choose a different icon here. So I'm gonna say times, maybe this one right over here and say insert. The rest over here we don't have to worry about. If we go over to style, I'm gonna change the primary color of this to black. You can change the size in that if you want, but for me in this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Now, if we head over to advanced, we are gonna scroll down and we're gonna change this position to fixed. We are gonna say the offset is going to be 40 and the other offset is 40. And over here, the horizontal orientation, we're going to say to the right. Now again, we need another class name. So if we go into a reference page, the very next one, which is the second last, it's the reboot quad effect close. We copy that and we're gonna paste that right here in the CSS classes. Okay, so now we're done with all that. Now we're gonna add that other container that's gonna house the actual card. So we click on this plus sign we can click on this container and then drop it underneath the heading. Now on the right hand side, you can see that it's in between the heading and the button. I'm just gonna drag this right down to the bottom. So for the name of this, I'm gonna double click it. I'm just gonna call this image cards. Now for the settings of this container, we're gonna make sure that it's full width, the 100% is perfect. The min height, we are going to change this. This we wanted at a 320. And what we want is align items. We're gonna want this to be in the center. Then once we're done with that, we head over to advanced and we're gonna go right down to the CSS class names and we're gonna give the last CSS name that we need for this. So in my reference page, it's this last one, this reboot card effect. Copy that and we paste that right here. I promise we are almost done with this. So inside this container, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the container that's going to be the card itself for the image. So now we're gonna click on the plus sign, click and drag the container into this and let go. Now for the name of this on the right hand side, I'm just gonna say card. And for the settings of this, I'm gonna say the width, I'm gonna change it to PX. I'm gonna say that this is 240. And for the height, I'm gonna make sure it's PX and I'm gonna say 320. Now that we've done with that, we are going to head over to advanced. For the padding, I'm gonna make sure that this is all zero. Then I'm gonna scroll down to this position. We're gonna change this to absolute. 
Now, in these offsets, we have to make sure that the zero is deleted, so it's completely empty. Okay, so now what we've done with that, now we're going to be adding a container in this. Now, that container is going to be the image. We're not going to be using an image widget. So, I'm going to click on this plus sign, take the container, put it in, and let's go and do the settings of this. So, in the name of this, I'm going to change this to image container. For the settings over here, I'm going to keep it at full width. For width, I'm going to change this to pixels, and I'm going to say this is 240. And for the min height, I'm going to say this is 320. For the justify content, I'm going to put this at the end. The reason for that is over here on these cards, you can see that these names are going to be at the bottom. So that's why we're going to put this as justify at the end. Then for the gaps on the row, I'm going to put this first one as a zero. I'm going to delink and put the second one as a five, just to give a nice little gap spacing there for those titles. Now, if we head over to style, the background type, this is where you go and put in the image. So let's go and choose an image over here. Say I'm going to use this one, put it in. For the settings of it, I'm going to put the position as center center. The attachment doesn't matter. Repeat is no repeat. And the size is going to be cover. If we go down to border, we're going to give this a radius of 10. Now we are going to give a box shadow. It's not going to be present over here. It's going to be very effective when the card's actually in the hover state. So if I show you an example, over here you can't really see it. But when we have it, there's a slight shadow here just to help the picture pop for the box shadow. We are going to put this at 50. And we can bump this up in the transparency to about a 75%. Okay, so now we're going to head over to advanced. We're going to add some padding over here. So we're going to de-link this. And the padding we're looking for is 30, 20, 30, 20. So 30 on the top, 20 on the right, 30 at the bottom, and 20 on the left. And while we're here, we can click on the mobile version. We're going to de-link this as well. And over here, it's going to be 20, 15, 20, and 15. Now we can scroll down just a little bit more. This position, we're going to say absolute. And that is our image. So now let's go and add those two titles. So I'm going to click on this plus sign. I'm going to take this heading widget, drag it in, and I can say duplicate. So this is going to be the main name over here. You can see that's going to be the main name. And the second one is going to be what they do. So this first one, let me just give a name here, just like that. Now we can go and stylize it. So I'm going to put this to white. In other typography, I think I'm going to make this just a little bit thinner. And I'm going to say uppercase. Now we can go into the second title and we can change the content here. So for mine, I'm just going to be putting for this model. And then under style, I'm going to make this maybe a lighter blue just over here. It doesn't really matter. It's just this design. And for the typography, I'm going to make this a lot smaller as well as thinner. So I'm going to give it as like a 400 and maybe 20 pixels should be fine. Now, something that I actually want is to make this stand out. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the image container and I'm going to put a black gradient overlay. So here under style, if we go down to background overlay, I'm going to choose gradient. For this first color, I am just going to be putting the black, but I'm going to make it completely transparent. And for the second color, I'm just going to be putting it as black. So I can just help show the writing over here. And the one of the last things that I have to do is on the second heading, I'm just going to say that this is the subheading, just so we can keep track of this if ever we want to edit this later. And now we are done with everything that we need. Now, it doesn't matter how many cards we go and put into this, this will always align them as nice and as neatly as possible. It's really automatic. So if you wanted five cards, 10 cards, obviously the more cards is going to get a bit ridiculous, but this will help balance everything out from the center point and then move outwards. Now that we have this, all we have to do is close this card one and we can duplicate this as many times as we need it. So for this example, I think I'm just going to be putting five. So I'll just duplicate, duplicate fourth and fifth. Now we have the five cards. Then obviously we can just stylize them. But I'm sure you want to see this actually working now. So if we go into my reference page, if we scroll down, we're going to go and fetch this code and make sure that the magic happens. So on the right hand side here, we're just going to click copy. We're going to go back into the editor and in the HTML widget, now we can put the code. So now if we go publish and go look at this at the front end, now you can see here's that working card effect. And as we scroll along, you can see that it's working perfect. So if we click on this particular one over here, you can see how it looks up there and you can always change it how you'd like. And if you close, you can see it working pretty good. But something that I've seen over here that isn't actually showing and we should just fix very quickly is if we go back into the card effect, I didn't see the close button. So if we click on the icon and under advanced, the Z index, I'm going to set this to 500. 
So just in case yours doesn't show, we're just going to make sure that it's right on top. So now if I publish again, you can see that the button is visible over here while still a little bit barely because this background is so dark. But we can change that as well. So if your background is very light, it doesn't really matter, it'll pop off. But if you have a dark background, then under the style of it, you can change this primary color to white and it should be good. So if we go check it on the front end again, here we are, you can see it's on a white and a darker background. Then the last thing that you'd actually need to do is you'd go into every card just like this and we can actually change the images. So if I click on this image, go to style and I can go and choose a different lady. Let's go with this one over here. And then I can give her a different name just like that. Then I can change the subheading. Now you can see that nothing's happening over here because the code's actually working and everything's in absolute position. So that's why we have the navigator so we can help us keep track. So I know I'm on my second card when I'm doing this. So for the subheading, I'm just going to change this, that particular title and we do this for all the cards. So click on the image container of the third, go to style, change the image, choose this lady and obviously so forth and so forth. So now that I've changed all these images and the titles and that, if I click publish, you'll see there's our cards working just fine now like i said if we went and we actually added more cards say as if we just duplicated this maybe another two times and then click publish you can see how this just balances out always so you don't have to worry about that at all i really think this is a great design that we should use a lot more because it's so nice and unique and it works so beautifully i hope you liked this video if you did smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing as well that stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.